Have you ever watched a cyclocross event and wondered how on earth the riders can get on and off their bike with such ease? Well, if it's something you've been wondering, well, this is the very video for you. We're gonna work through and talk about those tips and tricks to get you mounting your bike like an absolute pro. Now, I'm super excited because I've come to Fayetteville, Arkansas, where the World Cyclocross Championships is taking place on this very course. I mean, check out the rainbow stripes on those steps behind me. Now, it's not just me who's gonna be explaining the skills to you, oh no. Now, I've enlisted in a world-class pro in the form of Ellen Noble. Ellen! Hello! Oh, yeah. How are you, well? I'm good. how are you? Right, I'm hoping you're gonna teach us some of these skills so we can, well, at least dismount and remount up top there because you wouldn't normally, well, ride these steps, would you? Not steps like these. I think I've seen videos of people maybe riding the bottom couple, but by the time you get even a quarter of the way up, they start to get super uneven. So it's gonna be faster to just dismount, run all the way to the top and then remount when you get there. So we're gonna break down the first step and that is dismounting. Yeah, let's start there. All right, and if you're wondering why we're dressed like this, <laughs> it's because it's minus eight. It's absolutely freezing. <laughs> it's so. so cold. So let's get moving. Time to get on the bike. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Here we are approaching the steps. <laughs> and I guess, well, we made it to the first step, so all over to you. <laughs> okay, so the first step to dismounting is actually not dismounting at all. It's thinking 10 steps ahead <laughs> and thinking about what gear you wanna be in when you get to the top of the run up. So you wanna downshift, be in a relatively easy gear so that when you get to the top of the steps, you can take right off and you're not in some huge gear. So it all uh, happens back there. Yeah. Okay, first point. Yeah. Selecting an easier gear. Yes. What's next? Second step is going to be, um, well, first and foremost, figuring out which side of the bike you want to get on. Pretty much everyone dismounts on their non-drive side unless they have a very, very specific physiology, um, specifically being some left-handed people will get off on their right side, but the vast majority of riders get off on this side of their bike. Um, so if you're going to do that, that means you're going to unclip your right foot and swing it over and around your saddle, like we demonstrated just a moment ago. Okay, so should we practice that? We can. Let's do it. And it all happens back there. <laughs> All right, so right about now I'm down shifting. Yeah. Gonna unclip the right foot and get off the left. Nailed and that's it. the first two steps. <laughs> We're up to the second step. Right, what's up next? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so step three is going to be weighting your body up against the bike and using our natural weight to balance us as we coast into the last step of finally getting off your bike. One thing to remember is you can use your body weight to balance the bike to cover the distance between when you swing your leg over the saddle and when you get off your bike to face the feature. So I'm gonna use my lovely assistant Hank here to demonstrate. Lovely, I'm a pole. So you can have your hip pressing up against, oh, <laughs> wrong hand, <laughs> pressing up against the saddle to weight this bike and have your left hand on your hood. And you can actually coast like this. Then all you have to do is just unclip and step off your bike and then off you go. So as you get better, you can get closer to the obstacle before getting off the bike, is that Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Yeah, that's the objective is to not really have all that much distance between where you get off the bike and where you face the feature. So now that you're off the bike, it's time for you to learn how to pick your bike up and secure it on your shoulder. It's a little bit of a choose your own adventure with two ways to pick your bike up and two ways to secure it. Neither of the ways are wrong. It's really just personal preference and a matter of course conditions. The first way to pick your bike up is using an underhand grip on the top tube and picking it up and placing it on your shoulder like this. The second way, which is preferred by me, but not ideal if the course is muddy, is to pick it up by the down tube and secure it like this. Now that you've decided how you're going to put the bike on your shoulder, you have to figure out how you want to secure it. The first and probably the most common way to secure your bike is to twist your bar slightly to the side, take your hand and thread it underneath the down tube and hold it by the drops. 
This is a very common method, but it's not the one that I use simply because it's very easy to just get hit in the head <laughs> by your saddle and I simply can't stand it. The other way is to push your bike all the way back on your shoulder, take your arm and wrap it around the head tube and secure it by holding on to the hoods or the drops depending on your arm length. I like this because it feels so much more secure and it is a lot harder. It takes a lot more movement to hit yourself in the back of the saddle and you can move your head around a lot more. As I said, there is no wrong technique as long as your bike is out of the way and allowing you to run freely. It's really a matter of personal preference. So I'm going to dismount, put my hand on my top tube to streamline the dismount process, pick my bike up, slide it on my shoulder, and away I go. Selin so made that look really easy. I'm gonna give it a go. The technique I'm gonna use is grab the bottom tube, thread it through, hit my helmet and run up. Right, here goes. <laughs> Coast, up, oh, freaking nailed it. Nope. <laughs> right, one more time, one more time. You did, you were off to a really good start. Huh? You were off to a really good start. The first bit was good, the yeah. second bit not so good. Right, here goes. Unclip, coast, out, grab bottom tube, thread through. Oh! <laughs> and what champion is it making? Nailed it. Three, three. set out. Out of 10. I'm gonna give you an eight out of 10. What? Yeah, you did great, you That's did so it. well. Right, I'm off the bike now, I'm up the stairs. Yep. What happens next? You have to get back on your bike. Yeah, this is the bit not, I'm so worried uh, about. Yeah, and not gravely hurt yourself in the process, so. I think we can do it. Do you know what, I'm really hoping to have kids one day. <laughs> I I'm have a technique, nervous. I have a technique uh, that will preserve all um, important, what do they call them, F family heirlooms, what are they? We'll leave you to that, Al. <laughs> We've made it off the feature to somewhere flat. Now we suggest you practice this somewhere flat because it might be that bit easier. Absolutely, it's gonna be easier and also start really slowly. There's yeah. no reason to add speed until you really have the muscle memory down with the technique itself. So, on that note, technique. Getting back on the bike. Yeah, let's get back on the bike. So I think the, maybe the single greatest misconception in all of cyclocross is people talk about jumping back on their bike. And I think that that's what leads to so much anxiety around getting back on your bike is because you think you have to jump on. And so it kind of creates this false mentality around what technique you're going to employ. So I actually don't consider it jumping on my bike. I'm remounting and You'll see a lot of times people will literally jump and that's why it's so painful. But what I do that's different is I try to get my inner thigh like right around here to like where your bibs would fall all the way up to like the meaty part of your leg. That's what you're trying to make contact with on your saddle. So I can show you just as slowly as I can do it fast and all you do is just change your speed. But you'll literally just take your inner thigh, make contact with your saddle and then slide that leg on and then you're on your bike. And that's when your chamois is finally going to make contact with your seat. You don't just jump directly on. So this is it. You're sliding on with mm -hmm. your leg, yep. not the crown jewels. Absolutely. Ah, why didn't someone teach me that? <laughs> We're trying, we've been trying. <laughs> right, let's not, let's hope you don't make the same mistake I did <laughs> and learn the tough way. This is how you do it. Right, time for you to do it first and okay. me to copy. Okay, perfect. <laughs> All right, Hank, are you ready? I think so. All I'm right. slightly worried, but I'll, I'll get there. Do you trust me? I trust you. Okay, let's see it. All right, so I'm running in, <laughs> place the bike. Oh, <laughs> 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 You way overthought it. <laughs> <laughs> How is your hand getting on the saddle in I the don't first know. place? I think it's because you're trying to press, like, don't take your hand off the top tube. Like when you take your head off the top tube, just immediately pull it away. You're going from the top tube up to the saddle, so you're going like this. Yeah, because <laughs> that's because when I get off the bike, I don't want to do that. No. <laughs> <laughs> take three. This practice in motion. <sighs> yeah! That was so <laughs> much fun. <laughs> This is so much harder than it looks. Right. 
Well, last one. I think I got this one. It's quite hard to find your pedals. Bloody hell. So I'm running down. Oh, <laughs> Okay, to be fair, it's an uphill battle trying to remount downhill. Yeah. So maybe just start, yeah. Kay. Start there, don't remount until it starts to get a little bit more snowy. Right, there we go. Much better. <sighs> Nailed it. Right, it's fair to say it's gonna take slightly more practice to get to your level. Yeah. So if you are out there and you, you know all the tips and tricks, then make sure you work it and take your time with it because practice does make perfect. Thank you so much, Helen. How do you find my, uh, my last attempt at remounting? I think you did really well. If I were to give you some at home advice to practice, you know, when you get back to wherever you're going, I would just say go so much slower. You okay. Just start at, you know, basically a crawl. And then as you start to get that muscle memory, that's when you can Build pick it. up the pace. But otherwise, I think you're doing great. Thanks, Helen. Well, thank you for for giving us all these tips. Now, if you haven't noticed, what's going on behind us is the setting up for the CX Worlds this weekend. So make sure you tune in over on GCN Plus. And, uh, well, let's just say my crown jewels survived. <sighs> One last time. Right. <laughs> I'm absolutely frozen. I froze my nuts off. So it's time we uh, go and get warmed up, don't you think? I think, I think it's uh, past due. Yeah, all right. Right, let's do it. Cheers. Right. You like this video? Give it a big thumbs up. See you in the next video. Wah!